Hi, my name's Dipna Boholt. Now you may or may not have heard of me, but I'm the founder of the I Love Real Estate community, which has over 9,000 members across the country who are either interested or actively engaged in real estate investing. You know, over the last nine or so years, I've spoken to over 100,000 people across the country. I've written several books. I've written my foundation book, which is Confessions of a Real Estate Millionaire, which is my story of how I went from virtually zero to totally replacing my accountancy income in the space of just 18 months. And I show you how you can do the same. I've written Asset Protection Secrets of a Real Estate Millionaire. I've written 101 10 Top Tips in Real Estate. I've written Tax Secrets of a Real Estate Millionaire. And they're just to name a few. But you know what? I'm not here to talk about me. What I want to do is I want to give you a little bit of an insight into real estate in particular and some quality education, support, mentoring and the I Love Real Estate community. Now, when all of those things come together, you have amazing results. Last year, I ran a members only event. It was called the I Love Real Estate Super Conference. And at that event, we had several successful students come and share their story. Now, one of those amazing stories that came out of the event was a story of Susan. Now, I'm going to share Susan's story with you very, very soon. And, you know, her story really highlights how how amazingly things can happen so quickly when you have the right attitude, you, can, you have the, the right... Um, you have the right coaching and the right education behind you to put into practice what we teach and get such amazing results in really short spaces of time. You know, Susan turned her life around in the space of just 13 months. 13 months, she went from virtually zero, having to walk out of a, a very messy divorce with nothing behind her, you know, her whole life saving just taken away in an instant, to being able to, in 13 months, get back up, get out there, make things happen again, and, and start to build a portfolio that 13 months down the track, she's got a $9 million portfolio, she's got 22 properties, and she's got passive income. Wow, would you like to hear her story? I'm sure you would. Well, I actually have one of my uh, head trainers, uh, Ian Ugarte is his name, and he's on stage with Susan, interviewing her, showing you blow by blow how she, she made it happen and how the education and the application of that education transformed her life in the space of just 13 months. 13 months isn't very long, guys, is it? And I'm sure you're going to get a lot of insight out of her story. You know, I want you to grab a pen, grab a paper, and take lots and lots of notes when you listen to her story, because we're going to go through, blow by blow, just how she was able to turn her life around completely um, and, and build a very sizable portfolio. Imagine that, 22 properties, 13 months, and passive income, $9 million portfolio. Do you reckon you can do that? Starting with nothing? <laughs> Good story, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, I'm going to be back on the other side of, of this little video. I know you're going to love it. It's a live take from the I Love Real Estate Super Conference, and I know you're going to get real value information from it. But on the other side of the video, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do a bit of a debrief on Susan's story, and we're going to talk about how she did it and some of the key elements that you can put into practice to make that happen as well. So I'll see you on the other side of the video, guys. I know you're going to love it. Enjoy. Take lots of notes. So you went off. You've got a good business. You came into the relationship with your husband with about a million dollars worth of equity and a property, and you had two investment properties. And then mm -hmm. in 2013, mm -hmm. um, with all the businesses running and everything mm -hmm. running well, and you're doing mm -hmm. CEO full time coaching, you've mm -hmm. got knocked back to coaching, and mm -hmm. you find out something. Yeah, overnight, um, I found out that uh, my 10 year marriage um, wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> I discovered literally overnight in a 24-hour period. Um, do we go into detail? Yeah, go for your life. <laughs> Let's name him as well. <laughs> I promise it won't get out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the, the, 
the, the, the juicy bits, I suppose, and I don't think back on them now because I go, well, you know, it only makes you stronger. Um, at the time, I was gutted um, that the person that I'd been married to wasn't the person I thought I was married to. He had um, very cleverly devised a financial plan to segregate and take from me all of our assets. Um, I mean, everything over a five to six year period and had got expert advice on how to do that, I found out later. Um, within six months, um, the PPR was sold, uh, the four or five investment properties were gone. I obviously had the choice of um, embarking on a two or three or four year, very, very expensive legal um, story to try and fight what had happened to me. However, I can remember um, listening to people like Tony Robbins. I listened to one of Dipna's um, uh, podcasts and some of her material got out my original peg in the sand and went, I'm not going to waste two or three or four years on this. I'm going to create my next story. So I remember um, my son allowed me one Saturday afternoon in bed to be um, curled up in the fetal position weeping. And he said, that's it, OK, you're better than that. You've had your one afternoon. Um, get up, literally, literally get up and, uh, and get on with it. And then I got out my, my mobile phone and I rang my sister Sharon um, and I said, can I come and live with you, please? So I'd gone from living in a almost a $2 million PPR to a robust household of seven people to selling my stuff and moving into my sister's place with her husband, Gorgeous, and my three nephews in the spare room. So you go into this first deal, Southern Adelaide, uh, you yeah. buy a site and you can put something on this site. I can. Yeah. Um, so uh, I thought it was just a, a, a splitter, but then I went back to my manuals, back to my education, and uh, one of the, the key things um, that I remember Dipna saying at the Ultimate Program was, you've got to manufacture growth. So when I did the FISO on it and, and got out my manuals and, and did the FISO, I went, you know, you know, I'm manufacturing a little bit of growth, but is it going to get me into my next deal? So I met with that council's town planners. I got some independent advice as well. And they said, no, you, you should be putting four on it. So I changed my plans and, um, yeah, uh, that property uh, was subdivided into four townhouses. So it was my, my first deal. My strategy was to um, remembering that I'd lost all of my savings, I'd lost all of my equity, um, didn't have any super, so at my stage in life, my strategy was to manufacture growth and uh, manufacture um, equity so that I could start to think about a, a really uh, good retirement. Because one of the things you had to do was go back and get a job so you could service loans and do all of that. So if you're wondering how the, this loan was serviced, was because you went back into the executive role or the PAYG role. I went back into the... And this was when I was living with my sister. Um, so I actually took a job that I'd done, oh, a good 15 years prior <laughs> at middle management level. Um, they weren't plentiful in the metropolitan area of Adelaide, so I took a job in a uh, regional area of Adelaide, about an hour and a bit out of Adelaide, and used that hour commute twice a day to, uh, to listen to more podcasts <laughs> and um, do my education on the road. It's a, it's a stunning mobile university. Yes. I highly recommend it. <laughs> Now, with this here, uh, you're, you know, you're in, this is your deal, but you've got an agreement with yourself, Paddy, and your sister that you're doing this, you know, I was going to say the a love circle. family property portfolio. Yes. yes. <laughs> love circle's not the right word. Um, and you're going to go in and invest, and your main um, avenue right now is to increase as much wealth as you can mm -hmm. in the short time you've got so mm -hmm. that you can all retire. Correct. So... One of the other things that I remember Dipnet saying is um, surround yourself with people who know more than you. So I literally pounded the streets in Adelaide and developed a what I call my A team, my development team. So I was comfortable with project managing and uh, I'm, I'm a reasonably organised, so I knew that I could project manage if I had the right people in my team. So I spent a lot of time in uh, making sure I had the right finance broker, the right accountant that knew um, 
uh, company structures and trust structures. I found a builder. I said, look, I need an introduction to the owner of the, the building company. I don't want to be treated like a mum and dad investor. I want to go through the back door. So I made sure I went through the back door. I made sure I was sitting at his boardroom table saying, here is my strategy. Here is my plan. Let's work together. I found uh, my development consultant that helps me subdivide the land. I had literally an A team. I was so, so proud of myself to actually have the guts to go out and say, can you teach me? I learn fast, I'm going to make mistakes, but uh, um, I'll keep giving you business and I know we'll work really well together. So that's fantastic. You make $227,000 in equity uplift. You keep them all, mm -hmm. sits there at 13000 passive income. Why would you sell it? Uh, and you go off. And so uh, with Paddy, you find this deal. So Paddy's n not really any idea around how to invest, but you're there. Never had an investment property. <laughs> never owned shares. So he goes in and buys this one. You find it and um, run this for him. Yes, we, we find this one. So this was in uh, eastern Adelaide, a little bit more upmarket part of Adelaide. So we uh, um, literally looked at the block and I said, here's the FISO. Um, I think everyone else was saying because of its size, you can only do a splitter. I could quite clearly see that you could put three uh, really quite substantial townhouses on it. Did my due diligence, checked it with my people. They were happy that what I thought we could do, you could do. And yeah, we did the deal. So $495,000 uplift in this one and mm -hmm. sitting there at 9,000 passive. So can mm -hmm. you see every time there's a positive cash flow, keep them all, equity uplift, money back into yep. the next deal. Like that's, this is pretty fantastic. Yep. So again, you go off and do it again. Again, um, uh, Paddy and I looked at it and he said, well, the agents are saying you could possibly fit three on it. And I said, no, I mean, the, the development plan says this. So I met with the, the town planners within council and I said, look, according to your, um, your criteria, we can fit five on there. I said, here are the setbacks. I knew that development plan inside out. I, I, I read the development plans before I went to bed each night. I wanted to know as much as the people that I needed to. I didn't want to waste their time. I didn't want to have to go to council and say, look, here's a block of land, what can I do with it? You're wasting their time. I just wanted, happy to make mistakes and be told I was wrong, but I went to the council, I went to my people, my builder, and said, can we put five on here? And they said, yes. So we went into the deal. So you go off and now you've got your sister. You're living with your sister, you've got a few things going on and they've never invested in property either. Oh, super conservative. Um, my, my sister's a violinist and my uh, brother-in-law is an IT manager. Never, <laughs> never had a share, never had an investment property. So um, you find them a site? Found them a site. And, and they were literally, bless, uh, you know, shaking at the knees. Absolutely <laughs> shaking at the knees. And under the table, so was I, because it's one thing to... To, to do your own deals and stuff up, but when it's for other people that you love and it was part of the family um, portfolio, yeah, you've you got to breathe deeply. But I went, no, I've got a great team around me. I've had the greatest of education. Um, they understood the numbers, so I'm not saying that they went into it blindly. My, uh, um, my brother-in-law, Derek, he, <laughs> he scrutinised. He did his own fees, though, and he went, no, I get it. Let's do it. So you do that one, that, so they're $364,000 better off. There's another pool into the family trust that's, mm -hmm. that's going on with everyone putting in. Yep. Um, you go on this one here, so it's another one that you go and do. So this is due to be completed in April? Yeah, yeah um, March, April. So that's what stage we're at right now. Yep. Again, another estimated equity uplift of 328 and a cash flow of 11 grand. So you've got um, another one just in case. <laughs> three townhouses? Yeah, three townhouses. Uh, again, in, you know, this one's about 7Ks from uh, the CBD. Um, I'm actually expecting the planning assessment to be approved today, so we're hoping that construction will start in uh, late January once the tradies come back from leave. Fabulous. And, well, whatever. Just another one. <laughs> What's this one? Because oh, wow. this one is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Um, this one, oh, I will get emotional. So this one, um, great education um, with, with Ian and Dimpner. And uh, at one of the events, I met a lady called Nikki. Um, she lives in Perth and she was wanting to get started. And we, we were chatting and uh, about a week after we kept in contact um, via telephone and she said, look, why don't we go and do, um, through Dimpner, why don't we go and do Ian's high-res program? So we did that 
in August because I was really happy with the developments, but I wanted to stand out from the crowd. I wanted to really serve the community. And the light bulb went off at, at your program. I went, yeah, you, you, you can serve your community, you can create value, and you can also create money for yourself. So I, we, I found this property in Inner Adelaide, it's about 3K from the CBD, worked out why it was not attractive to you know, the stock standard developers and negotiated um, the deal. And uh, we've commenced um, the planning process, so it's been ticked by state government. They've given their approval to local government, so it's just going through the normal planning processes at the moment. And we're building <coughs> five two-bedroom townhouses that are at a capped affordable housing um, price and still making 20% out of the deal. So you can't sell them for more than? 350. So for $350,000, someone has the opportunity to buy one of these units. So you're mm -hmm. not allowed to make more than 350. Mm -hmm. You're still making $290,000 profit. And how many people are on that waiting list? 3,000. So you can't tell me that as a developer that's in the game of putting product to the market that you can't meet the need of an affordable housing market. Um, <sighs> I said I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> Damn you! Um, so the yeah, whole point of high res is around affordable accommodation, and I've got a student up here that working with Dimpner um, and working with us has has achieved exactly what we're trying to do. So thank you for that. No, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Mm. You're in a position now. You where with your son? You want to help your son? I want to help my son, so uh, my, my beautiful son is 25, he, he lives with disability. I wanted to create independent living for him close to the family, so he had that family support. So um, through what I've done over the last 18 months, I was able to buy him a um, two-bedroom flat in an area that he wants to live in, uh, so he's there and he's settled. So. Um Tell us, from when you started to where you are now, yeah. what's your journey been like? I, I knew that I was busy and I knew we were achieving a lot. It wasn't until I actually, and Ian said, you need to give me this information, this information. And so when I collected all of that and went, oh, well, that's, that's pretty cool. This is why I've been so busy. So in the last, um, <laughs> in the last 18 months, we now have a, um, an investment portfolio of uh, 22 properties. The portfolio value is um, over nine and a half million, and we've had a, a, an equity uplift of 1.8 million, and it's in positive cash flow territory. Isn't that amazing? Thank you. Hey, wasn't that an amazing story? Oh my goodness. 13, 13 months, $9 million portfolio, 22 properties, and she started with nothing. Gosh. You know, for a lot of you, you're going to be able to relate to Susan's story because things happen in life. You know, things happen where the unexpected comes up and, and we find ourselves in a situation where we, we simply have to dust ourselves off go, well, you know what, this is not going to break me. I am going to get out there and build a future for myself. I mean, that was really my story as well. Coming out of divorce, I walked away with a grand total of $40,000 in my back pocket and two kids to support on my own. So, you know, being able to turn situations around is definitely possible. I'm living proof and so too is Susan. One of the things that Susan did uh, was being able to implement the educational strategies of manufactured growth very, very well. She really made the market work for her. She was investing in a market that wasn't really working with her. You know, everybody else that had just gone out there and bought normal old properties doing normal old things, I can tell you now, they would have got normal old results and certainly not the kind of results that Susan was able to, to manufacture. And that's really the key. And this is one of the strongholds of the educational program and part of the I Love Real Estate community is that manufactured growth must, absolute must, be part of your overall strategies. You must be putting into practice 
the the manufactured growth strategies that give you the ability to be able to continue to invest as well as building positive cash flow. Because unless you have the positive cash flow, you don't have the serviceability to be able to keep going. But unless you have that, that equity that you are creating out of what you do, then you don't have the money to be able to keep investing as well. And both of them are the key. It's not one or the other. It's absolutely both. So being able to to combine both of those gave Susan the kind of results that put her in those kind of positions. Now, as I mentioned before we went went to the live video, um, we discussed there how Susan's desire to make things happen was part of the essential ingredients to give her those kind of successes. She was putting into practice the high level education, the coaching and the mentoring support of the community and the coaches to, to make that happen for Susan. Now I want to give you a quick overview of the process that Susan used to get educated and achieve the kind of results that you saw in that video. Now, this is the education that Susan was able to undertake and to achieve those kind of results. Now, first of all, to start off with, there are six um, training modules. Now, let me tell you what they include. First of all, there's how to create passive income, because as I mentioned before, creating passive income is a big part of being able to, to replace your income, to have the life you desire, and to be able to continue to invest. But you know you've got to have the fundamentals as well. So there's a module on taxation. There's a module on asset protection. These are all fundamental things that whilst they're not the most sexy topics, they are certainly the ones that you must know and you have to have under your belt to be able to save money and build sizable portfolios that no one can take away from you. Along with the cash flow though, you must have growth. And the key to growth is, in particular is manufactured growth and being able to target in on natural growth opportunities as they come along. So this is a very broad topic and there's lots and lots of strategies to learn and implement in this particular uh, portion of the modules. There's a module there on turning debt into dollars. Now this is really a money management program and there's lots of things that you can do to maximize your situation, whether it be to pay down debt, whether it be to, to accelerate your investing. There's lots of money management skills that you probably don't even realize could be saving you thousands and thousands of dollars right now. And there's a module on finance. Finance is so important. Finance gives us the leverage to be able to move forward and to, and to get the kind of results that we need quickly. But it's not just going to the bank and getting a loan. There's a lot of science behind the way you need to structure your loans and your portfolio. Then there's the boot camp. Now, Susan will have mentioned there that she loved the boot camp and walked away out of that boot camp and got stuck in straight away. That's one of the fabulous things. You see, when you walk out of that boot camp, you're going to know exactly what your next strategy is, what price point it's going to be at, how you're going to do it, who you need to help you through the process, and, and a step-by-step -step guide to make it happen. You will have written a two-year business plan by the end of that boot camp. You're also going to have access to the members-only website, and that includes an app. You know, these days you can take the information anywhere, put it onto any device. You can have all of the seminars, all of the training, all of the written material, all of the audio stuff, all available to you on your mobile device. It's really cool. The next thing I'm going to give you is a feasibility study software. This is fantastic. You know, you'd be lost without it. This is really making sure that every deal you do makes you money. Every deal you do gives you the kind of desired results that you need to to catapult you forward into the next deal. Then there's a range of events. Now, Susan really capitalized on these events, and I think that's one of the secrets as to why she accelerated so quickly um, and was able to, to build such a sizable portfolio so quickly. The first event um, that I'm gonna to talk to you about is a superannuation event. Now, this is advanced superannuation, self-managed super, how you can take control of your own superannuation money and start investing straight away. How you can put that money out there and, and probably might even be the first investment that you actually make. It can go out and buy properties for you that can set you up for the long-term cash flow. There's another one on, on using other people's money. This is a no money down day. So we do a whole one day training just on no money strategies and how you can get started investing even if you don't have anything to start with. Now that's pretty gluey, isn't it? 
There's an amazing three-day event which is it completely changed your mindset. This is my peak performance program. You know, you've got to you've got to be growing emotionally and from a personal development perspective, along with financially and educationally, because when those three come together, it's a winning formula. And without one being, um, you know, going through the growth spurts that the others are, you're going to be a little bit lopsided. So the peak performance program is essential to success. And it is an amazing event. It is absolutely my favorite event of the year. So I really want to see you at that one. And then I've got the three-day I Love Real Estate Super Conference, which is some of the live footage that you just watched with Susan actually came from last year's I Love Real Estate Super Conference. There are videos, there are webinars, there are so much information there that I simply don't even have to go, have time to go through with you right now. Suffice it to say, though, that it is the most powerful, comprehensive educational, real estate educational program in this country. That I can guarantee. There isn't anywhere else that you are going to get the breadth and depth of training that you get as part of the being a member of the I Love Real Estate community. So here's the opportunity I want to give you right now. I want to give you the opportunity to sit down with one of my coaches and go through your personal circumstances to see if you're going to qualify to be part of the I Love Real Estate community. You see, everybody's circumstance is different. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to sit down with one of the coaches for a whole hour and they're going to review your situation with you. Now, they're all qualified investors themselves. They are out there putting this into practice and they're going to be looking at your situation, reviewing your goals, dreams, aspirations and looking at whether you're going to be the right fit for the I Love Real Estate community. Now, here's what I'm looking for. If you are coachable, if you are teachable, if you have an open mind, if, you have, if you're prepared to get out there and take action to get the kind of results that you just saw that, that Susan got, then that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people just like you that have got the right attitude. But let me tell you what I don't want. I don't want whingers. I don't want whiners. I don't want people who think they know everything. I don't want people who have given up. I don't want people who, who you know, don't have a vision for themselves, who don't, don't see that they've got a future, because that's simply not the case. So if you're one of the former, as in that you want to get out there and make something happen in your, your future, and you're not one of the latter, then I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk to one of the coaches through your specific circumstances. And if applicable, we'll give you an offer to be able to join the, the I Love Real Estate community. If we believe that the, the education and the training and the mentoring is really going to give you the kind of results that Susan was able to get. Now, look, I'm not going to give you any guarantees that you're going to be able to get out there and do everything that Susan did in the last, you know, 13 months. But I can tell you now, if you've got the right attitude, there's no reason why you wouldn't. So here's what you need to do next. You need to click on the Yes, I Want Results Fast button. And that will open up a calendar. Now, on that calendar, you can see that there are a few appointments that are still available. They are in limited supply. My coaches have only got limited time to sit down and spend an hour going through things with you. Because simply doing that, you're going to get huge benefit from... Um, you know, from being able to spend the time talking about your circumstances and what's possible for you. So what I suggest you do is you secure one of the spots right now before they all go, because there are only, as you can see, there are only a limited number there. Now, this one hour coaching session will bring, uh, you know, it could be the beginning of a whole new future for you. And potentially, it could be the start of an amazing success story for you. I could have you up on, on stage with me at the next I Love Real Estate Super Conference sharing your story of amazing results within rapid spaces of time. So good luck. Um, you know, I look forward to seeing you at one of the, the live events. I know you're going to get great value out of the one hour session that I'm offering here with one of the coaches. I know you're going to love them. And I know that, that, you know, if you've got the right attitude, then we've got the right formula to make things happen. So look, good luck with the interview. Good luck with your application to become one of the I Love Real Estate uh, community members. And I really, really look forward to seeing you at one of the next live events, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.